Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR, HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR, HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. Three to four letters actually came to my home. 
and uh, people were uh, just so so given and so so inspirational. They just pumped me with motivation. They just you know they told me their stories, how they get through it, and I realized for the first time that I wasn't alone. That there were they were hundreds of people out there just like me, feeling the same way, going through the same things that I was going through. And in a sense, that was kind of refreshing because you know I I, I realized that you know sometimes we we feel like we're all by ourselves when we go through obstacles in life and there are so many people out there that might not have the exact same story but they can relate to you and they understand what you're going through and that support that motivation that inspiration from others could get can go so far in life so you know i actually you know i applied their advice I, you know, I, and I actually was able to finish college. I went on and I, I, I got a really good job in the city. I was doing really well. And then one day I felt a seizure coming on and I had fell to the floor. I was looking for a safe spot, but there was no safe spot because I didn't want anyone to see me. And, you know, one of the people who worked there just stepped right over me and kept walking. And I was awake during the seizure and I couldn't believe that this person just didn't even stop to help me. Uh, I was kind of appalled by it. And 30 minutes later, I was released from my position. And they said I didn't meet the requirements, but I knew it was because I had, it was because they saw me have a seizure. But I didn't let it get to me. I walked out of there with my head up high, and I said, you know what? It's just not meant to be. There's something out there for me, but, you know, I'm, and I'm going to find it. And I was determined to find my passion in life. So I started working, I started doing freelance work, and I started writing for other people, and I had met an herbalist, and he needed a lot of research done. So I approached this herbalist, and I said, you know, I took on the project, and I did a lot of research in natural healing. I was like, wow, a lot of these things could apply to my own life. So I started actually changing my lifestyle, changing the way I ate, using different supplements, detoxing, just changing my entire life. And believe it or not, my seizures went from 12 a month to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to the point where my seizures became controlled. And, you know, it all was because I changed my life and I changed my mindset and I changed the way I live. And I was really inspired. And so I decided to write a book. And I wrote, um, I put all those inspiring letters in the book. It was called Epilepsy, You're Not Alone. And I, and I wrote a regimen of how I lived life and how it helped me. And the book was a bestseller back then. And I actually rewrote the book this year during COVID because I updated it because that book was written like two decades ago. So there was a lot of things that changed. So I rewrote the book this year. It came out in towards December, and it was to help people cope with epilepsy. And during that time, we were all locked in our house. So I decided to write a book about overcoming obstacles in life because men and women go through life. We go through obstacles, and sometimes we just fall in the cracks, and we just don't know how to move forward in life. So, you know, my goal is to try to help people overcome the obstacles that occur in their lives, to not let, our, you know, to not let problems you know, stop us from living, to not let conditions, you know, um, to, not, to not let the conditions stop us to, you know, to empower ourselves and not let the problem empower us. You know, as you're talking, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm hearing a person who was just beaten down in the beginning didn't give up, but there it is where, you know, you, you keep on going and then there's that one little thing that comes along, and that was the the herbal uh, uh, course you kind of got on, and that kind of changed things because um, I, I, I saw most of what you've done, and, and there's an herbal book. It, uh, the, the diet, the whole regimen changed, the epilepsy changed uh, the, w the way it affected you? You know, once I start, yeah, once I started to, I, I realized, you know, I wasn't getting enough of sleep. So sleep is very important because that could be a trigger point for any condition, not just epilepsy. If we don't, people need to, we're required to get at least eight hours of sleep. So I changed my, 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 my lifestyle, even, you know, and I hate limitations, but, you know, if I wanted to get better, I had to change my lifestyle. So I made sure that I got enough of sleep. I also le learned that we don't realize it, but 70% of conditions are caused by stress. And when I used to get stressed, I used to have seizures. 
So it affected me, and stress affects everyone. People, you know, get illnesses because we, when we get stressed out, we our, our immune system breaks down. The walls of our immune system start to break down, and we kind of open the doors for illnesses to come to come in. And you know, so I learned how to cope with stress. I used yoga, I used meditation, I cleansed my my. You know, I, I used to just take some time in the morning before I started a day just to cleanse my my mind. And you know, I used to. You know, and I still do. You know, I, I do things to help me relax. And if I see myself getting overwhelmed, I stop for a second. I do some breathing exercises, and I try to focus. And I don't let the little things, you know, the little things in life get me all worked up. Because a lot of times we let the little things in life get us worked up. And even when big things happen, we get through it. If you really think about it, think about all the things you've been through in life. You know, we go through our ups and downs, but eventually we get through it. And we learn from it, and we strengthen from it. So, you know, I changed my whole everything. I detoxed my body. I detoxing was huge. Like when I I took all, when I cleansed my body and and released all those toxins from my body, I can see an improvement. I had more energy. I was more focused. I just felt so different. I felt like I felt like I was 20 years younger. I put I made sure I exercised a little. You know, all you need is 15 minutes of exercise a day. You don't have to be in the gym 3 4 hours. You know, everybody's different. Everybody has a different mentality. A different, you know, different tolerance. You know, everyone, if you have conditions, we can't do the same thing as the person next to us, and we can't compare ourselves either. We have to do what's best for us. But if you can get some stretches, so a little bit of walking in, that's great, you know. And all these things help our body, help and strengthen our body. And I just noticed humongous changes in my health. I, my body did a total turnaround. You know, it's interesting. Um, we talk about... Uh, the natural way to do things, and, you know, and we've talked before, you and I are both proponents of that. Uh, what I come face to face with, I'm sure you do too, is that people, uh, they don't like to be given limitations. And, and also there's a way that they like to do things, that quick fix pleasure kind of thing. Yeah. So when we try to teach them lifestyle changes, we are actually telling them in their minds, these are things you can't do, and when they hear can't, they think it's going to be a problem. But it's not about can't. It, it's a freeing thing where those all that old stuff doesn't pull you down anymore, and now you start doing what is naturally correct for your body. In your case, it essentially it didn't cure, but, boy, it took the bite out of epilepsy, which is a pretty big thing. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, and I personally was a person that did not like to be told what to do. I was always independent, and I always wanted to be able to do everything by myself. And I realized that, you know, sometimes, you know, or more more than sometimes, we can't do everything by ourselves. It's it's virtually impossible. And it's okay to ask people for help. It's okay to say, you know, I, I need your help. You know, and and it's okay in in life, you know, to put to to create a life with limitations because we can't do everything. We are not robots. We are not mechanical beings. We are human beings, and we can only we can only move to and 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 do things to certain limits. And you know when you hit those limits, you can feel it in your body when you start feeling drained or you start feeling overwhelmed or your brain is starting to get foggy and you can't think straight. Your body's saying, "Slow down. You're going." too fast for me. You're doing too much. I can't handle this. Or if your, your digestive system is all screwed up, maybe it's all the stress you're going through, too, because stress can, can screw up the digestive system, too, you know, uh, and, you know, also the foods we eat. You'd be surprised, the foods we eat, how they play a role in our bodies and how they could get us sick and how, you know, and how they can even make your brain foggy and they could even, you know, make you feel addicted to certain things like sugar, you know, and, and and, and lots of other things. So we really have to really think about what we eat, how we treat our bodies. Our bodies should be treated like a sanctuary. We should put our body on a pedestal and, and take care of our bodies the best we can because what we put into our bodies is what we're going to get back. You know, and I agree with all of that. I, I always tell, teach people about the schedules for your body. You know, try to get up the same time every day. Try to go to bed the same time at night if you can. Uh, what you put into your body, absolutely. Foods are loaded, as you know, with everything, uh, in, and, and that's going through your whole system. Uh, you know, we're, we're relying on other people to uh, to uh, 
deal with that for us, like the FDA and all the people that don't are not going to deal with it. So you really have to become advocates for yourself and become aware. But you know what I'm hearing uh, from people is that they firmly believe what they're doing is correct. Yeah. Uh, and 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 since everyone they know seems to be doing that, that's not. It's not normal. It's their norm, and they right. they stay with it and they believe in it. So when I tell them. I don't eat all of those things. They look at me as being regimented and, you know, you, you're not having any fun. And I'm trying to say, no, I'm having a whole lot more fun than you are. I'm not <laughs> turned down by all this toxic behavior. I'm actually what's doing what's right. I'm doing what's natural. You're not. But how do you deal with people when they come in and they say things like that to you? Because I'm sure you get it. I, I know we all do. And they say, no, but I'm doing all the right things. And then you take them through their program, and it's not so right. You know, I've learned over the past years, you know, you can only guide a horse to water, but you can't make it to drink. Yeah. And, you know, so what you could do is you could try to open their minds, and, you know, it's all how we word it to them also. You know, you not you have to say it in a way where you're not sounding like you're telling them what to do, but you have to just, you know, make suggestions. Well, this is what I do, and it's helped me. Or, you know, maybe you should consider doing this or, you know, um, you know, or, you know, I think you know. Let's look at let's look at your past you know tra uh, you know your track record. You know, for the past X amount of time, you've been doing this, and what positive results have you had since then? And you know, the person's going to think and say, "Well, not much." You know, I said, "Do you want to continue feeling like this? Are you happy with yourself? When you look in the mirror, do you like who you see? Do you like how you feel?" And they're going to say, "No, I don't." I said, "Okay, so don't you think we need to maybe tweak up?" Your, your what you're doing and maybe make some slight changes because those slight changes could be huge. You know, we don't have to, like, your whole life doesn't have to change. Maybe you can tweak it up in certain areas and see the progress you're making. And if you like that progress, maybe we can continue to the next level. You know, what's interesting is that uh, most people really don't know what feeling healthy is. So when, no. You know, that's what I get a lot. Uh, you know, they say, yeah. no, I, I, it all, it, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good every day. And I say, well, you know, let's start talking about that. And, and, and as we tear through that, that's when people will say, you know, yeah, that's not so good. But they still go into a defensive mode. I don't know if you get that. And they say, yeah, oh, I know, do. but I'm feeling good, though. I, you know, I, I haven't been sick. I haven't, I'm not on medicine. And, and that's all great. But I don't think people understand what it's like to go a completely natural route, do exactly what your body, uh, you know, what, what's going to optimize things for you, and feel life at that level. And that's, that's the hard part to teach them because you don't know it until you experience it. And that's why I wrote the book, Empower Yourself, Don't Let Your Conditions Empower You, was because one of the first things I discuss in the book is denial. Because it's very, it's, it's easier to be in denial and not want to face what's going on in your life. Because once you face it, you have to start changing it. And change can be very fearful for some people. People, a lot of people fear change because they don't know what's going to happen once they make those changes. Are they going to like the person who they see? What's going to happen? You know, and those people are usually pessimists and they usually think the worst of the worst of the worst. And, and then they get even more scared and then they, you know, they, they take a step back further. So you really, you know, it, it's trying to get over that denial stage and then learn it to accept who we are. And once we, we can get out of that denial stage and move forward and then learn how to accept who we are as a person and then learn how to love ourselves, then we could start working on change because you really, you have to, you know, so many people don't like who they are. But yet they're not, they don't want to do anything about it. And I, in, in a very simplistic terms, I wrote that book step by step to teach people how to go from denial to acceptance to learning how to love yourself and then learning from, from there, learning how to boost your self-esteem up and boost your self-confidence and how to strengthen yourself so you can have the courage to move forward in life and then work on change by creating short-term goals and long-term goals. And, you know, the power of positive thinking goes a long way. And also having gratitude 
you know, we come from, we are a very blessed society, and we don't realize the world around us. You know, there's so many people, even in the United States, that don't have a lot. And sometimes we have to be just gracious for the things we have and not think about what we don't have. Because sometimes you don't realize how lucky you are until the littlest things in life can be taken away from you. And you realize that the simplest things in life that we took for granted meant so much. You know, and, and that's an interesting point. I, I write also, you know, as you know, I, as you do, I write a lot about empowerment and, and gratitude. And I write about two kinds of gratitude. We tend to be grateful, I think, when we get something, you know, and, and mm-hmm. then we'll say that's wonderful and I love it and thank you so much. But uh, inside, we're, we're not feeling grateful. We, that, that seems to come from the outside. Uh, you know, I think uh, when we talk about uh, being grateful it's really about having that inside us all the time and then everything that comes in goes into that grateful repository if you so, so to speak it comes in and we're already grateful before it got there and, and that's right. the part that, that uh, you know I, I work with but once i get people to understand that it kind of changes the way they feel about things and i don't see as much denial uh with right. those folks I agree. That's a great. That's a great way to go about it. And you know, I created the. You know, the because I talk about journaling in my book, and I, I I created the the positivity and gratitude journal, and it asks those little questions and little activities to make people really think about what you know they have in their life. The littlest things. You can go outside and being able to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and to be able to breathe the air outside, and just to see the trees and to be able to just look around and and you know and to have the eyes to be able to look around you know mm-hmm. and to just have gratitude for the simplest things in life and the people who care about you the most you know think about what life would be if they weren't around and not you know don't be mad at what they're not doing or what they should be doing and you know and 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 stop focusing on others and focus on yourself i think sometimes we have to really make the connection of mind body and soul and deep go deep into ourselves because our body it always is telling us the answers. It's just learn how to connect and understand what our body is trying to tell us. Yeah, we, we like running stop signs. <laughs> That's what how we yeah. say. The <laughs> body is telling you this and you're denying, you're not even listening. And yeah. uh, then, uh, But you know what? I find that people are very well versed at dealing with the pain that comes with uh, what they're doing wrong assume it's going to be there and go forward because that's just part it's almost like you know you go out and you get drunk the night before but you know tomorrow's going to be the hangover and the horrible day <laughs> but you do it anyway because right. there's the fun and the, and you accept the dysfunction that comes with it but that's not normal <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> that is not a normal way to live no, it's not a normal way to live. It's not a normal way. A lot of people use it as a, you know, a coping mechanism, or they yeah. use it like, you know, and if they're not addicted to alcohol or, or drugs, they use it as a way to kind of cope with stress, to take the edge off that hard yeah. week that they went through, you know, and, you know, maybe they should stop and think about healthier ways to go about it, and yeah. maybe they won't get so drunk the night before. Maybe they'll have one drink instead of three or, you know, exactly. four drinks, you know. And there are so many ways you can cope with stress and so many ways, you know, little exercises each day that you could do in your own home, in the, in the privacy of a room, and you could just release stress from your, your life and not be so stressed. By the time Friday comes, you'll have a better frame of mind and you won't, you know, you won't go for all those drinks on, on a Friday or Saturday night. You might go for one and just be happy with that. Absolutely. Everyone, we've come to the end of the first segment here. So you're listening to Fix It With Foss here on Healthy Life Net, all positive talk radio. We're going to take a break for a few minutes. Then we'll be right back with more from Stacey Chalemi. So stay right with us. It's time to live every day in the moment, so your life will flow at a healthy and happy pace. When you live in the moment, you can deal with change better and learn how to achieve your goals easier. Find out how in Faust Ruggiero's book, The Fix Yourself Handbook. Make your life simple and easy using a successful blueprint for a happy life with The Fix Yourself Handbook. This is your moment to improve your life. Go to FaustRuggiero.com and pick up your copy of The Fix Yourself Handbook now. 
If you're looking for unique items at affordable prices, then you should try Dream Product. From apparel to beauty, from shoes to therapeutic relief products, visit HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on Dream Products, and maybe your dreams might just come into reality. Life is a process, and once you know how to master that process, you will have a life filled with creativity and passion. Foss Ruggiero's book, The Fix Yourself Handbook, will help you master the process to become your authentic self, living in peace and harmony. Get the Fix Yourself Handbook today at FossTruggiero.com. You'll gain the wisdom you need with this wonderful and practical guide. Do it now at FossTruggiero.com. Remember, it's the Fix Yourself Handbook at FossTruggiero.com. If you want USA and worldwide car rentals, choose rentacar.com. Free cancellations on most bookings, no hidden charges. They are trusted by over 4 million customers. Visit our advertiser page and click on the Rent-A-Car banner. Loving yourself. Sometimes it's hard to do that, and sometimes you just don't know how. Now there's a way to help you understand how to love yourself. Faust Ruggiero's The Fix Yourself Handbook gives you a toolbox of formulas and routines to help you address how to love yourself and towards a life that is a healthy, progressive journey. Get your copy of The Fix Yourself Handbook at FaustRuggiero.com. That's F-A-U-S-T-R-U-G-G-I-E-R-O.com. FaustRuggiero.com. Hey there, wake up. Take your life off of autoplay and learn how to navigate your life using healthy routines and practices. Discover how to live more fully without the need of lies or defenses. Imagine confronting others peacefully. Well, there's one proven way to do it. Get the Fix Yourself Handbook at FostRuggerio.com. Come on, you know you want to improve your emotional IQ, and with the Fix Yourself Handbook, it's easy, it's fun, and it works. So get out of autoplay and fast forward to FostRuggerio.com and buy the handbook now. More exhilarating talk. HealthyLife.net. Welcome back, everyone, to Fix It with Faust. We're talking with Stacy Chalemi. And when we left off, we were just talking about how we uh, accept those uh, parts of, you know, what we want to do that aren't so good for us. And, you know, it brings up a, a way kind of thing that I just fact, was just writing about co- called normalizing or habit uh, formation. It's what the brain does to uh, uh, kind of accommodate what we try to do. The brain tries to adjust to all these things. And, you know, it's, basically, it's in- interesting. We, we've kind of normalized, uh, habituated, if you will, all this dysfunctional behavior, and we believe it's normal. The way yeah. we live is normal way to live because our brains firmly believe, you know, that's what it does. It, 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 the brain tries to accommodate all this, all the insanity we bring to it, and it's, it's a, you know, a powerful organ. It does that, and, you know. But on the other hand, boy, we're really normalizing some crazy stuff. Yeah, you know, think about it. Like, I think it. What was it? Like, I think it was over sixty percent of the United States has come from a dysfunctional family. So, you know, when you come from dysfunctionalism or you grow up in dysfunctionalism, you see, you know, behavior that isn't healthy. And most people tend to repeat the cycle and they repeat the behaviors, even though they were very unhappy with the behaviors living in that environment and they know it's not good, but they tend to repeat it because that's all they know. And change can be very hard, especially the older you get, the more you get set in your ways. So unless you're, you're, you know, someone really brings it to your attention or it's actually hurting you, people are going to continue that behavior. And people don't like to be told they're wrong either or, they're, you know, they, you know, people want, you know, can't accept that something is wrong, you know. And like we went back in our earlier conversation, you know, people um, don't like to change. You know, one, they have to accept that something is going on, and two, they have to actually make changes in their lives. And, you know, even for me, making changes in my life was not an easy task, especially when you're doing the same thing repetitively every single day, like even changing, you know, changing the way I ate and changing the way I did things. I had a routine going on, and to break that routine, it, 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 it's hard, and it does, it, it's baby steps. You can't do it all at once. It's, it's just like when someone has a medication they're taking, they have to be weaned off of it slowly. When someone has a habit-forming, you know, behavior, you have to make, you know, little changes at a time because it's very hard to break habits. You know, 
you talked about having the epilepsy and changing the diet and going natural and uh, uh, the seizures way, way down both in, in, in uh, magnitude and, and in number. You know, a lot of people are on meds and they'll come into my office and when I get them into a natural way of doing things, the meds seem to va- vanish. You know, whether it's mm-hmm. diabetes or, or even, even the, the antidepressant medicines, those types of things, and anti-anxiety. When we get them doing what they're supposed to be doing, they don't seem to need, to need meds. But we are a culture that is sold on yeah. the notion that medicine equals better living and just keep doing what you're doing, but medicate it this way. And if you do all the things you and I are talking about, you never get to that step, or almost never. It's very true. You know, you go to the doctor, you tell them symptoms, and, you know, a lot of doctors are, are very uh, happy prescription uh, type people, and they'll write out a prescription, and then you'll take it, and then a lot of times you'll you'll take that medication and you'll develop more symptoms because there's side effects to the medication. Then you'll go back to the doctor and say, you know, I feel X, Y, and Z. And then the doctor will give you another prescription to try to make those symptoms, those symptoms subside. And before you know it, you have a whole closet full of medication in your bathroom. And one is interacting with the other, and problems are occurring, and people don't realize that it's because of the medication. And, you know, I I had spoken with a gentleman on my podcast the other day, and his son developed autism um, uh, probably in his young toddler years, and they were determined to help him. He got, he was a very low functioning individual child, and they changed the way he ate. They changed a lot of things naturally, and they were able to actually bring his back to the behavior he he was when before he was diagnosed with autism. Even though they say autism is incurable, he was able by changing the way he ate, by changing a lot of things in his life. And his parents made a lot of adjustments in his life. And he was able to go back to a high-functioning child and enjoy life the way he was prior. You know, those are just interesting stories because, you know, we tell people this, and, 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 and some people grab it and they run with it, but the body, you know, it has limitations. It has absolutes. We're not this organism that was just thrown here and do whatever you want. We are subject to all the laws nature has. And yeah. we don't we, we don't want to do that. But it's not one of these things that says, uh, well, you have to do this, and it's going to take all the fun out of your life. I get that with you know I'm Italian. So uh, you know, <laughs> eating is you know they assume that we're eating all the stuff, and I don't eat most of it. Uh, yeah. They, they just <laughs> don't, you know. And um, so, so you know what I put in my body is designed to go in there, you know. And I'm in my late 60s, and I tell people. I have no medications. I work out every day hard. I, I don't put hours. It's 45 minutes. That's my, been my regime forever. I do all those things, you know, the meditation. All those, I do all those things, and I don't have all those conditions. And it's right. not because somehow God just created me this way. He said, here's the life, now do with it what you will. And I've been. Uh, so, you know, you don't have, have all the ups and downs. You don't have the mood swings. The anger yeah. isn't there. You don't get up uh, with that. You know, I'm, again, late 60s, I, don't, I get up in the morning, I have, have no aches and pains whatsoever. This is the way the body was meant to run. I can't tell you I'll be here yeah. tomorrow, but I can tell you what I'm doing today is the way I'm supposed to do it. And, you know, you don't need, a lot of times, a lot of people take medications and it's not necessary. You know, they could heal themselves naturally. And there are times when, you know, I believe in both. There are times when you do need medications and there are times where you don't need medications. You know, if you're trying to heal a certain type of condition and it's just not working, then you may have to resort to a medication. But, you know... I, like, for instance, my mother had high cholesterol. The doctor right away gave her a statin, you know, not shortly after she was getting joint pains. And then the doctor said, oh, you have fibromyalgia. And you know, she goes, she comes home, she goes, I got fibromyalgia, I got fibromyalgia. You know, I'm like, what do you got, Mom? <laughs> and so she's like, and then all of a sudden she she decided to stop taking the cholesterol statin. And uh, she her pain immediately stopped. And she realized it was because 
of the medication, you know. And there are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of supplements. And a lot of the supplements they actually use in the pharmaceutical. And they, it, it's, it's part of the ingredients of these mm-hmm. statins, you know. And like red yeast rice, they use that a lot. And uh, that's good for high cholesterol. And so there are a lot of, you know, different, um, you know, like CM Core and other supplements that could be used for high cholesterol. So, you know, sometimes it's good to look into things and to, you know, see what you can do to help your body. And, you know, do, you know, do you really need that, you know, that medication that you're taking, you know, and, you know, try, and, and eating is huge. I think people, people don't realize how huge about the food we put in our body. You and I, and I hear you, what we put in our body is going to do something, just like the medicines. It's going to do something. And if we put the right foods in, in the right amounts, at the right times, all those things, it really gets easy, and your mind will adapt to it far quicker than you think it will. It's not get, I just tell people, it, you're not going to uh, change your life and be, and, and be so unhappy because you can't have all those old crazy foods in your diet all the time. And, and that taste lasts for 10 or 15 minutes while you're eating it, and then you put up with the problems. So. Right, and our, our body was not meant for a lot of these foods. No, our body not. wasn't meant for a lot of dairy foods either. Right, exactly. So, everyone, well, we've come to the end of the second segment, and we're going to take a little break. In a couple of minutes, we'll be back. Uh, but so uh, stay with us. We're talking with uh, Stacey Chalemi today. Life is a process, and once you know how to master that process, you will have a life filled with creativity and passion. Faust Ruggiero's book, The Fix Yourself Handbook, will help you master the process to become your authentic self, living in peace and harmony. Get The Fix Yourself Handbook today at FaustRuggiero.com. You'll gain the wisdom you need with this wonderful and practical guide. Do it now at FaustRuggiero.com. Remember, it's The Fix Yourself Handbook at FaustRuggiero.com. This is Jack Maher from the band Feed the Kitty. It's important to support the artists you love, and you can do that and get something authentic for yourself. Rock.com has the most coveted licensed merchandise of music, culture, and entertainment. So go to the advertiser page and click on Rock.com now. Hey there, wake up. Take your life off of autoplay and learn how to navigate your life using healthy routines and practices. Discover how to live more fully without the need of lies or defenses. Imagine confronting others peacefully. Well, there's one proven way to do it. Get the Fix Yourself Handbook at FaustRuggerio.com. Come on, you know you want to improve your emotional IQ, and with the Fix Yourself Handbook, it's easy, it's fun, and it works. So get out of autoplay and fast forward to FaustRuggerio.com and buy the handbook now. If you're not in the U.S., listen up. SureTrader is one of the most trusted and reliable names in share trading. With 6 to 1 leverage and other perks, SureTrade is the best for penny stocks and day trades. To find out more, visit our advertiser page and click on the SureTrader banner. Loving yourself. Sometimes it's hard to do that, and sometimes you just don't know how. Now there's a way to help you understand how to love yourself. Faust Ruggiero's The Fix Yourself Handbook gives you a toolbox of formulas and routines to help you address how to love yourself and towards a life that is a healthy, progressive journey. Get your copy of The Fix Yourself Handbook at FaustRuggiero.com. That's F-A-U-S-T-R-U-G-G-I-E-R-O.com. FaustRuggiero.com. It's time to live every day in the moment. So your life will flow at a healthy and happy pace. When you live in the moment, you can deal with change better and learn how to achieve your goals easier. Find out how in Faust Ruggiero's book, The Fix Yourself Handbook. Make your life simple and easy using a successful blueprint for a happy life with The Fix Yourself Handbook. This is your moment to improve your life. Go to FaustRuggiero.com and pick up your copy of The Fix Yourself Handbook now. Expanding your mind. HealthyLife.net Welcome back to Fix It with Faust, everyone. 
or talking with Stacy. So let me say, you know, in the break we were just kidding around a little bit. Stacy gave me this wonderful compliment. Says, "You don't look your age," and I, you know, when you get in your 60s, you love hearing that. But you know what? Uh, it brings up an idea that I, you know we want to talk about a little bit here is that we have this idea in our minds about what someone in their 40s or 50s or 60s or 70s should look like and think like and act like and almost all of that is just old stereotype garbage if you do what you're supposed to be doing the way you're doing like we're talking about good schedule on your body the proper eating plan sleep uh, get away from the medicine. Learn what natu- the natural components for your body are, what, what you can put in it. You'd be surprised how things go. So, and as I was saying, in my 60s, I don't take medicine. I don't have aches and pains now or when I get up in the morning or anything like that. I still, all, I still do all the things I did when I was in my 30s. That is the way the body is supposed to go. Um, so, you know, Stacey, when, when we talk about uh, teaching people this, this, this uh, it sounds like what we really have to do is kind of break through this stereotypical thinking about what life is supposed to be like and how it's supposed to proceed. Yes. You know, people people would make comments to me all the time when I would tell them my age and I would tell them that I have, I'm have i an empty nester, all three of my kids are out of the house, and they'd look at me and they'd be like, you are too young for that. And I would be like, well, not really. <laughs> you know? But... Uh, you know, it's because of the way I take care of myself. You know, I make sure I have certain supplements in the morning. I make sure I take care of myself. And I tell people, too, you know, I see a lot of women spend so much money on skincare products. And, you know, it's crazy. They'll spend over $100 on an on a ounce of, of, you know, of, of whatever, you know, of certain ingredients. And I'll be like, you know, you don't really need that. You know, I've, I've come across natural serums, you know, made by with certain – certain oils and they're totally organic and they're very reasonable in price and I would put them on my skin every day you know just to keep it moist and I would take certain vitamins and that's all I needed you know and I you know it's it's how you take care of yourself and the food you eat also all those things combined the vitamins the supplements how you, the exercise, your stress level, all these things combined will keep you young or old, you know. And if you ever realize, have you ever seen someone that goes, has, is really stressed out and then you ever, and then at the, you know, at, they look like you see them maybe a year later and they look like they're 10 years older from the stress? You know, think about the presidents. You ever see the presidents when they come into office, they look nice and young, and then when they come out of office, I think of Obama when he came into the office, he he looked so young, and and then when his term was over, he looked like he gave, he aged fifteen years because I agree. of all the stress. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's what stress will do. That's what having no schedule does. A lot of people yeah. are eating on the run. I mean, I, people. You know, I used to be thirty years ago. I always say people came into my office and. 5, 10, maybe 20, 15 percent were on medicines. Now it's like 70 percent, 60 percent. It's way up there. Uh, they yeah. stay home and cook decent meals. Now everything's fast food, order out, uh, have food brought to the house, and you know what's in all that garbage. You know, oh, people yeah. are making decisions to be stressed and then to medicate the stress with other things that cause more problems and more stress. Exactly. You know, people don't realize that these foods are not like fresh foods. They're processed foods. Process, when your body does, when you put a processed food in your body, your body doesn't recognize it. If it doesn't recognize it, recognizes it, it can't break it down properly. And if it can't break it down properly, most likely it's going to get stored in your body. So those toxins and all those those ingredients that the body doesn't know is getting stored in your body. And over over a short period of time, you're going to notice that your gut is going to be imbalanced. You're going to notice that your organs are starting to get sluggish. You're going to start feeling fatigue. And you're going to start not being able to do a lot of the things that you do, and it all has. And then you, you know, lack of exercise because you're fatigued, and you know, then your mentality starts to go, and then you start getting depressed. All these things, you know, could be just because of the food you're putting in your body. And you know, I, you know, some of the chemicals and some of the ingredients they put in these foods just to make them look pretty, and to make them look more plump. 
are things that could cause cancer, are things that could really screw up your body and your health. And people don't realize that the, it's the worst thing for you. You can't lose you can't lose weight when you when you buy those processed foods. You know, swearing that it's going to give you X amount of calories and you're going to lose weight and blah 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 blah. You need fresh food, and you need to pick out the right fresh food, and you have to make sure that it's it's you, it, they're not they're not you know like having lectins and attaching to your organs. You need to find food that that is gluten free and doesn't have all these terrible you know ingredients in it. And you'll be surprised you you if just by eating the right foods and taking care of your body, how how youthful you will stay and how great you will feel. And it's a great point, you know, and I get, and I'm sure you do, uh, uh, gee, I just don't have enough time to do all this research. And I say, back up a little bit. I know you watch television. I know you're <laughs> on your cell phone or whatever you're on two hours a night. You know, mm-hmm. I'll bet you can find at least, at least a half hour, 45 minutes every evening to get on your computer or your phone, whatever you use, and say, let me research this item. You know, what's right. going to help me think clearer? What's going to help me deal with cholesterol? You know, we have that in our family. So the red yeast, I do that. And, and, and a couple other things that combat cholesterol. In the meantime, right. being a vegetarian, I don't have any of the meats and the dairy products in my diet. So my cholesterol is about where it needs to be. You know, right. uh, we talk about, you know, uh, body fat, that index. And, you know, again, in my 60s, and I'm at about a 19 you know, uh, and I and I work out every day, so you're not looking at a real skinny person who's, you know, malnutrition. I mean, everything's where it's supposed to be. But right. it's not difficult to do is the point that I'm making. If you would take all, you know, we're talking about diet. You take the cell phones, which cause more anxiety and stress in your life. Take those out of your life or at least use them properly. Look up the information you need. You're going to find yes. all the things you and I are talking about, and they are not hard to implement. Oh, no, they're not hard to implement at all. And I even cut out, I probably cut out about 95 or 96 percent of the sugar I eat. And it was very hard to do at first and it, because your body really gets addicted to sugar. And you, you, the more sugar you eat in your, your diet, the more you crave. And even if I have a cup of coffee, I don't put sugar in it. I just drink it black. And I just learned over time, I had to wean myself slowly off the foods that really converted into sugar and were not good for me and if something you know if something I, I, I used to eat had I put sugar on in it I didn't use sugar anymore I just totally took it out of my diet and I felt so great and I'll tell you you know the cravings for foods went right down and if I eat something that has sugar in it I could taste it right away and I got turned off by the food and because you know and it's it's one of the biggest killers is sugar you know our body it was you know is you know can, it will react so negatively off of sugar and that's why so many people have diabetes because of the sugar it's it's just you know people really have to think you know what they're putting in their bodies so many illnesses could be be prevented just by the way we eat if you go to europe the food in europe half the food in, is is banned they won't let it in europe that we make in america so that tells you something right there so i was in uh We've come to the end of the third segment. When we come back, we're going to continue in this discussion just a little bit, but then, I'd, uh, Stacia, I'd love to, for you to give us a little bit of an idea how people can not only contact you, what programs you're offering, and, and how they may take what we've been talking about today and, you know, include that in their lives a little bit. So, everyone, we're going to take an, a, a few minutes break, and then we'll be back with a wrap-up with Stacey Chalemi. So, please stay with us. Hey there, wake up. Take your life off of autoplay and learn how to navigate your life using healthy routines and practices. Discover how to live more fully without the need of lies or defenses. Imagine confronting others peacefully. Well, there's one proven way to do it. Get the Fix Yourself Handbook at FostRuggerio.com. Come on, you know you want to improve your emotional IQ, and with the Fix Yourself Handbook, it's easy, it's fun, and it works. So get out of autoplay and fast forward to FostRuggerio.com and buy the handbook now. 
VMware is a fresh perspective for virtualization on the cloud. Shaping the future, this all in one platform delivers virtual cloud service on any cloud. Visit our HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on VMware. It's time to live every day in the moment, so your life will flow at a healthy and happy pace. When you live in the moment, you can deal with change better and learn how to achieve your goals easier. Find out how in Faust Ruggiero's book, The Fix Yourself Handbook. Make your life simple and easy using a successful blueprint for a happy life with the Fix Yourself Handbook. This is your moment to improve your life. Go to FaustRuggerio.com and pick up your copy of the Fix Yourself Handbook now. ASMC, the premier German company that supplies everything for adventure, from outdoor clothes to outdoor gear, even backpacks. Lots of quality and lots of specials. To start your adventure, go to HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on ASMC. Loving yourself. Sometimes it's hard to do that, and sometimes you just don't know how. Now there's a way to help you understand how to love yourself. Faust Ruggiero's The Fix Yourself Handbook gives you a toolbox of formulas and routines to help you address how to love yourself and towards a life that is a healthy, progressive journey. Get your copy of The Fix Yourself Handbook at FaustRuggiero.com. That's F-A-U-S-T-R-U-G-G-I-E-R-O.com. FaustRuggiero.com. Life is a process, and once you know how to master that process, you will have a life filled with creativity and passion. Faust Ruggiero's book, The Fix Yourself Handbook, will help you master the process to become your authentic self, living in peace and harmony. Get The Fix Yourself Handbook today at FaustRuggiero.com. You'll gain the wisdom you need with this wonderful and practical guide. Do it now at FaustRuggiero.com. Remember, it's The Fix Yourself Handbook at FaustRuggiero.com. When you need a positive point of view, turn to HealthyLife.net, your 24-7 radio network for a better future. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to wrap things up with Stacey Chalemi. You know, we've been talking about so much with all of you today, and I think if anything, you're getting the idea that if you do the right things, uh, your, your life is going to change. It, and it's not something that is, uh, you know, this huge monumental task to implement. So, you know, uh, what I'd love to, uh, you to do, Stacey, is give us a little bit of information about how, what, actually, what programs you offer, how you can work with people and where they can contact you, all that kind of stuff. Sure. So if you go on StacyChilemi.com, that's S-T-A-C-E-Y-C-H-I-L-L-E-M-I, I have a website that has a blog that has over 3,000 articles. And one of the things that I offer, I have been very dedicated to try to help people overcome obstacles in their life and to, to empower themselves. That's a big thing. Empower yourselves. Don't let your conditions empower you. And when I mean conditions, I mean that could be anything from stress to anxiety to physical, mental, or, you know, any type of condition you're going through, any obstacle in life that you're going through, I have programs to help you. And I just created a program where I offer an online course that you can find on my website. And the online course teaches people how to overcome challenging obstacles in their life. So if you feel like you're over, you want, you're, you're stuck in, in a world where you're just dragging your feet every day and you just feel like life just doesn't, seem like it's worth it. I can't get over the hump. You know, I just don't know what to do. I want to feel better, but I just don't know how to go about it. I have an online course, and it teaches you how to overcome the challenge and obstacles. It takes you through a journey, and by the time you get to the end of, that, um, the, end of the program, you will feel like a new person. And I also wrote my, my three books that I had come out at the end of the year. I had written um, Empower Yourself, Don't Let Your Conditions Empower You. I created a journal called the Positivity and Gratitude Journal. And I also, like I mentioned earlier, I rewrote the book Epilepsy, You're Not Alone. For people who struggle with epilepsy and want to learn how to cope with it, those three books are available. And the best place and the easiest place to find them is Amazon. And so and I also offer... Uh, uh, coaching. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, 
and I also am a full-time speaker. So I speak at small events, large events, medium-sized events. You know, I, I speak for organizations, businesses, and, you know, anywhere. Um, you know, I teach people how to overcome challenge and obstacles in their life, how to move forward in life and not, you know, and how to gain the courage to be able to just go get to your goals in life. So I, I, I am a full-time speaker, and I do do coaching, and I have my three books available, and I have my online program. And those all can be found at stacychalami.com. And I also, if someone has a question to ask, feel free. You can you can email me on my website, and I'm all over the social media. So if you find you can find me on all the platforms from Facebook to Instagram, to um, to Twitter to on I'm on all of them. So you know it's very easy to find me. You can just type in my name. But I do have a lot of programs to help people so they can get through life and empower themselves because we all have the power within us. We have the power to accomplish any obstacle in life. We can make our dreams a reality, and I teach that also. And I teach people how they, you know, how they can become a success, you know, how they can move forward in life and how they can create a plan for themselves so they can learn how to gain the life they always dreamed of, of having because we all have the ability to turn any dream into reality. It takes time. It takes it takes planning, it takes strategy, but we all, ha- you know, we all have a journey, and we all can get to, to the end of the journey if we, we put our mind to it and we, we focus on what we want and what we're capable of doing. So what do you think, everyone? It sounds like what I've been saying for all these years. You know, <laughs> again, it's the same message. It's about learning how to become a powerful person. And I agree with, uh, you heard me say this many times, it's, it's kind of the core, my core uh, little mantra, if you will. Everything we all need is already inside us. We simply have to learn how to access it and make it work for us. And uh, I'm, I'm currently, as I'm talking to you, I'm at Stacy's website. It is definitely worth uh, visiting. Take some time. Go there, StacyChalemi.com. The, all the programs and everything she was just talking about are right there, and it will help you change your life. Stace, it's been great to talk to you again. I'm sure our audience got a whole lot of good stuff from you. So thanks so much for being with us today. Oh, you're so very welcome. Thank you so much for having me on this show. I, you know, I was so excited to speak to you again. We had such a lovely conversation on my podcast, and just I'll just mention it quickly. It's called The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi, and I talk about a lot of different topics. Um, and uh, you know, come visit me at my podcast, and uh, that's where I actually met Boss, and we actually we kind of bonded. We, we have the same outlook on life, and we kind of see the same vision. So it was pretty neat when we we met each other on the podcast. It was, and it's been a thrill to have you here. So thanks again. God bless you. Oh, thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you for this opportunity. I appreciate it. So that concludes this week's Fix It With Faust show here on Healthy Life Net, all positive talk radio, everyone. In a month from today, I'll be back with another episode of Fix Yourself with Fall. So don't miss us one month from today. That's June 8th at noon Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Until then... Be well, stay safe, everyone. Have fun creating your world, and here's to the power inside you. God bless.